Hey guys, Trickshot here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Tear Out. Now, Tear Out Dubstep is a heavy mix of rhythm death step and dubstep, which is characterized by sharp, short bass stabs, pan snares, and long screechy basses. Now, examples of these are going to be obviously Mastodon, Marauder, and other people like that, but the main inspiration that I have is Makuta. So I'll leave Makuta's link in the description because he's a he's a cutie. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Now let's focus on the topic of drums. Now you can really go anywhere with the drums by adding either a heavy pan snare like I did, or you can add something like a trap snare or just normal a very heavy rhythm drums. I didn't really want to go too crazy with the drums, so I just added the basic 1-3 kick and uh, snare pattern with the hi-hats just kind of following on that rhythm. With some things in this track are kind of like steered towards the other way, like these are kind of characterized more by rhythm. While wow, these dubstep drums are kind of like dubstep. And all together, it kind of has this nice little blend that is rhythmic and catchy, but doesn't really take out of the rhythm of the basses. And all together, this is how the drums sound like. Now, all I did to mix these drums are that I kind of EQ'd out all the low mids and bass frequencies out of the hi-hats. I just kind of just grouped them all together and just put them into an insert and just EQ'd them out. And then with the kick and snare, what I did is just added a shit ton of processing with transient shapers and such like that. I used the stock FL1 with max attack, a little bit of release and drive, and transient shaper. Now what you can do is sidechain the symbols kind of like this. But in this song, I didn't do that just because I felt like it was a bit too empty if I got rid of the symbols. Now let's move on to the basses. Makuda. Now in this specific tutorial, there is only going to be three bases that I'm going to be talking about. Now the first base that I'm going to be talking about is this Marauder base that I got from the Makuta Radiant Sample Pack that he made using basic shapes, uh, the square waves, and just using mirror, FMing, high notching, hyperdimension, distortion, filter, EQ, delay, compression, nothing too big, combs filter, very simple. <laughs> Now for this machine gun base that I'm going to be talking about, there is three layers for it. It's The first layer is kind of this high metallic-y percussion noise that you would hear maybe on like a, like a bell ding, on like a snare clap. And of course that has a lot of OTT on it. Now usually it would go differently about kind of EQing each of these out, but I was too lazy. Now, for the second layer, it's an actual gunshot, which gives it the name Machine Gun Base. And this is how Makuta makes it. The third layer is the actual sound design kind of growly bass to it. Now, in the end, it really gives you this amazing result that sounds heavy and very melodic and rhythmic at the same time. Now this sustain bass is one that I dragged in from a sample pack due to me reading that you use long screechy sustain basses kind of like this when making tear out so I decided to just throw this in and it actually fit quite well. <laughs> now what I did add, I added some laser FX after some of the triple machine gun basses. This is also from the Makuta Radiant sample. Now that's pretty much all of it, just let me go ahead and master this real quick all right now we're good to listen all right now i'm joking 
to an extent. I've tried to talk with Makuta about how to mix and master tear out, and he says by mixing it isn't too much of a problem. But if he if you find a way to mix tear out, then let me know. I'm gonna take that as there's not really a set bound way to ta uh, master tear out like there is with other genres, kind of like uh, dubstep, where you can probably just add a single ozone nine and maybe a few EQs. And you can have this insanely loud master. But with tear out, it's just a whole bunch of clipping, in my opinion. But anyway, this is the final result. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, the link will be in the description to download this project file. If you liked the video, make sure to like, and if you're new, then subscribe. It'll be really appreciated. I'm trying to get myself to 2,000 subs. At 2,000 subs, I have some sample packs and some, some preset packs planned, so expect those. I'm also going to be leaving a link to the uh, Serum Pornhub skin because a lot of people apparently point that out in any sound design video that I do, so I'll go ahead and leave the link to this for you guys to download. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.